Hey guys, back with another thrift store finds video. Uh, stopped by this thrift store after work. Uh, this the same thrift store where I found quite a bit of uh, gold, uh, sterling, and uh, my favorite, the, the vintage watches. Pretty much all the vintage watches found at thrift stores were at this specific uh, thrift store. Uh, here's a receipt. I like to show a receipt whenever possible. Uh, twenty ninety nine for this jar. And I was going through it, and this is the reason why I bought it. You can see a Holy Cross, uh, Notre Dame. Uh, Holy Cross is the women's school uh, for Notre Dame. And you can see the color. It uh, kind of has that warm glow of uh, gold. So more than likely, it's probably just gold filled or gold plated, uh, but there's that chance it could be actually 14 uh, or 10 karat gold. Uh, so being that, and then there's some other religious type things in here. And uh, looks like there's a brooch. This is like maybe uh, a spider or a scorpion type insect brooch. Um, and then there's an old pin, FDR pin. So this could be just the contents of like a jewelry box that they just threw in this uh, jar here. So let me break it open and let's see if there's any goodies inside. Okay, I got all the jewelry laid out here and I went through it all. Uh, all the stuff up here is just a costume. Uh, this stuff up here is not magnetic, but it's not marked. So I'll have to go through that, see if that's anything. I'm, I, I'm sure that's copper. I'm not a jewelry expert by any means. So uh, it is what it is, I guess. I only look for uh, gold hallmarks. And I know a little bit about uh, costume jewelry and look for maker's marks. Obviously, some uh, designers are... Uh, designer and costume jewelry jewelry can be quite valuable. Uh, FDR little button there pin. Couple watches, nothing great. Ladies, these ladies' watches. But I did hit the jackpot. I'll show you guys that in a, in a second or two. So these up here, uh, they're not magnetic and they're not marked. So I'm not sure if those are sterling or not. That's kind of a cool vintage uh, key fob or key ring. I thought these were uh, like bugs or insects, but you can see they're uh, guess uh, Chinese or Japanese I'm not sure on those and it's marked uh, KJL I think so I have that sign piece up there this interesting little bulldog pendant and that's not marked it's also not magnetic. This is also a cool piece. It's also not marked, but to me it looks like it's sterling. Looks like it's a uh, shell. And the best two pieces, uh, I guess I'll throw this in there, it's uh, Mark Sterling. And here's another signed piece. But I did hit the jackpot on gold. So uh, this piece I showed you guys earlier, I thought it could be gold. So this Holy Cross uh, Notre Dame nursing little pin. And I thought it might be gold just because of the color. It uh, has that kind of a warm feel to it. It's not overly shiny. So I thought at least it would be gold plated, but it's actually 
See on the back there, uh, 10 carat. And uh, dated 1955. So this weighs, uh, the scrap value on this, just for scrap, is uh, $134. So I did pay uh, $20. Two dollars and change uh, with tax, so an outstanding find there. But the crazy thing, this isn't the best piece. So uh, these were also in there, and I kind of put these off to the side over here. Uh, decided at the last second to just kind of look at them a little bit closer to see if there's any uh, marks on it. Uh, if they're like designer had any. Uh, Maker's Marks. But I looked in the inside here, see if I can blow it up. One is marked better than the other one, but you can probably barely see that in there. That's marked 21K. So let's see if this one's marked also. Can't really see too well with this. You can see 21K, uh, but I did acid test these. And another thing that kind of gave me a clue, they might actually be gold. Uh, the post here is really easily bent. Uh, the higher the carat of gold, the softer the metal. So uh, I did actually acid test these at 14 carat. That's the highest carat I got and they, it held very well. So these are real uh, 21 karat gold earrings. And the weight on these is uh, seven grams, which uh, comes out to a scrap price, uh, just for scrap value of $330 for those two. So what a great find at a thrift store jewelry jar what's that uh, about 460 plus in scrap gold price and the, the gold price is low now so uh, yeah what a great find so again I want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time